Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach Jeff Copper, and we're here today with Dr. Sharon Celine. Hi, how you doing, Jeff? I'm doing great, and yourself? Perfect. Uh, got a tip to us for us today for families and getting some work done. Yes, homework. The thing that we all pull our hair <laughs> out about with our kids. Yep. So one of the things that I think would really help you in your family life is to set up a family work time. And depending on the age of your child, that can be 15 minutes or it could be an hour. You start with asking your child in a calm moment how long they think they could actually do work for while you reflect on the answer to that question too. Mm -hmm. And that's the work period. It's punctured by a short break. So mm -hmm. maybe it's 10 minutes on, three minutes off. The way that your child eases back into work is part of their um, goal to get the incentive at the end of the hour. We'll talk about that in a second. So you have a 10 minute work period, you have a three minute break, you have a 10 minute work period, and then when you've had an hour and that's what you've decided is the maximum amount of time, there's a bigger incentive, something juicy that they want. Now, when this is happening, is this is family work time, so are they yes. doing it and are you doing something too with them or how well, does that work? The way that family work time seems to be best for kids with ADHD if the, is if the parent is at the kitchen table with the student. And the parent may or may not be doing work with the child. Sometimes mm -hmm. the child will, will need help, sometimes not. But the parent is there as a body, yep. a body double, yep. a support. And so therefore you can observe if your child is going on YouTube instead of doing algebra. You can be there if your child is struggling and has a question. You can do your own work on your computer, but everyone is working together. The trick is when family work time is over, computers mm -hmm. close. Mm -hmm. Yours closes and theirs mm -hmm. close. So they know that now it's time that we're yep. going to interact. Yep. So I, I, I really, there's a lot of, about that I like, and at least my work with people, um, having them there to ask questions can help them kind of work through uh, writer's block or they don't have an idea. Um, there's other people in the room. That's what's supposed to be done at that particular time. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Uh, there's a finite period of time that they can really look forward to. It really makes it a lot easier for them to self-regulate. And so I think you can see how this kind of comes together. Um, I do have one small tip that I learned sure, over the years. please share. And that if you have family time, the kids typically don't like you to see their computer screen because they want right. to screw around. So what I used to do, particularly in the wintertime, is I would always have them in my house. Uh, there was a big window and it was dark on the outside. I could see what there was on their computer by looking oh, at the reflection in the window, really kind of catch what's going brilliant. on. And that's so brilliant. That's brilliant. If you set it up right, you can do that and you, then you know when to step up and walk in there without actually catching them but actually kind of keeping them like that. that just just something that kind I of fun love trip. That. that's a great idea that's fun so um the, great tip awesome tip anything else to add i think the important thing is that the breaks the in-between breaks you decide in advance and you make a little list like what are our short break yep. options get some water go to the bathroom do yep. some body body yep. breaks yep. and then you have a list of lo of larger incentives like what's going to happen when i finish yep. my work what do i earn we want to teach kids to earn something yep. and so and when you're there w doing family work time you can kind of encourage them along yep. toward that goal that they may have lost track of because yep. they have ADHD but that you know they want everybody another great tip Please subscribe to our channel by pushing the subscribe button. Leave some comments. We'd love to hear what your thoughts are and uh, share our thoughts too, your comments. And so with that, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Take care, everybody.